As promised here at 523, we're going to go through those seven day forecasts and talk about the heat banking off, but a significant uptick in storm chances. Uh, we've got a heavy rain and flood threat probably going forward for the next several days. Uh, this pattern is going to continue well into next week. The upper high drifting to our west over Arizona, bringing the big time heat with it. Uh, the clockwise circulation around the high does have some moisture fed into it, and this northwesterly flow is going to push storms that develop easily on the northern mountains into central and eastern and and eventually southeastern New Mexico. Albuquerque included on today's flood watch. Uh, so is most of east central and northern New Mexico, or northeast New Mexico anyway. Areas as far south as Ruidoso in the Sacramento Mountains included on today's heavy rain and flood threat. Uh, so here's a look at future track. Uh, we're still in the 80s and 90s in northern New Mexico. And you know, the hottest spots in southern New Mexico is still good for about 100. So it's only a small step down on the thermometer today, but some improvement. Uh, the scattered storms filling in, especially by 5 o'clock and thereafter, merging through central New Mexico. Mexico and then working into the southeast part of the state uh, as we head towards the midnight hour. Uh, that northeast corner of New Mexico, Vegas, towards Raton and Clayton, maybe as far south as Tucumcari. We've got a, a hail and a gusty wind threat to monitor in addition to the storm's likely scenario. Uh, working that rain into southeast New Mexico and eventually out of the state by daybreak, uh, it will likely be quite humid, but a step cooler on the thermometer as we wake up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, still watching the storms develop on the high terrain and then work from north to south through the state, and it's pretty decent chance at scattered storms in the evening hours for the Albuquerque Metro once again and also sliding down that eastern part of the state. This is likely where we'll have that flood watch extended for the Thursday PM hours and Thursday could be another afternoon where we have to babysit a severe threat in the northeast part of the state. Uh, as we look ahead towards Friday, very little change to the going forecast. Storms developing during the afternoon on the high terrain, especially the northern mountains and then rolling south off, south off the mountains and you know the Albuquerque Metro in the go zone for the scattered storm chance once again during the evening hours and that yellow shaded spot uh, up around the Sangre de Cristos and down into the Sacramento's likely going to be the focus of another round of flood watches that'll be uh, issued for the Friday PM hours here in Northwest New Mexico Four Corners area not in the best spot to catch these storms but it is daily storm chances uh, like 20 and 30 percenters 96 for you in Farmington and a couple more 94s before those high temperatures do settle close to 90 by the upcoming weekend maybe seeing a downtick in storm coverage by Tuesday of next week here's Southwest New Mexico and we're still in the 90s to about the triple digits. Scattered storms are expected to fire, but we're not going to have that distinct uh, north to south storm motion from those storms that do develop in the Gila. They'll kind of hold stationary. Uh, we do have better storm chances uh, tomorrow compared to today, and uh, skies look right for scattered storms, at least through the weekend. Here in southeast New Mexico, we are going to mention a storm chance, but it's not until late in the day in Rudeau, so maybe by dinner time. But I think for this Roswell, the Carlsbad corridor, we do hit 100 before uh, evening and first half of the overnight storms roll through. Uh, we'll keep those highs in the 90s through Saturday and then turn it down into the upper 80s with those daily storm chances early next week. Northeast New Mexico, this is expected to be a very busy corner of the state later on this afternoon and into the dinner hour. Significant heavy rain threat with the storm's likely scenario. We're at 78 for a high in Las Vegas and boy, those high temperatures near 80. They continue going forward until they drop into the lower 70s by Sunday, Monday, but good chances of storms on a daily basis. Same story here in north central New Mexico. Afternoon storms likely the storms will work south after they do develop. Uh, we're stuck in the mid 80s in Santa Fe through Saturday and then maybe drop into the upper 70s as those daily storm chances continue early next week. And yeah, here in the Albuquerque Metro, uh, we've got high evening storm chances. There is still going to be a warm up into the middle, maybe even upper 90s for the River Valley communities before those evening storms do hit. But with a high confidence that evening storms are calling this a weather impact evening, going to be tough to get in outdoor practices. Storm chances don't step down a lot going forward. We'll just call it 40% daily Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Maybe a little less active by Tuesday.